We are going in the sea. Avenger. Oh yes, fishes. Hello, Nuss. Whoa. The elephant nose cave is on the southwestern tip of the Sharp Island, not too far from Half Moon Bay. It's accessible by a kayak or by a combination of hiking and swimming. Without well, further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to Laughter of Week. Today we're back at Half Moon Bay. Super crowded, but we are going to see the Elephant Nose Cave. So we went to the Heart Shape Pool recently and now we're gonna go to the Elephant Nose Cave on the other side of the beach that we didn't go to. Very excited. Are we excited? Get the ferry from Saigong Town Centre to Half Moon Bay and walk all the way to the very end of the beach on the other side. From there, we start coasting, which isn't that hard at first. So we made it some way along, and now we're on a very steep stretch. But once we pass this little headland, we should be a straight shot across. If you're not a fan of bouldering, co-steering on steep rocks, you can just swim across. Okay, so we have hiked to across the pier now, so it hasn't been that bad, but it hasn't been that easy either. Just a warning. And now, let me turn and show you guys. This is the continual road, not him. The cliff did get a little bit steep and it's difficult to cross in places, but there is still an accessible path to walk across. But it does take quite long. So we've climbed all the way down and we're getting ready to swim for the next portion because it is quite rickety and it's so so hard mainly. It's just so hard, okay? So we're gonna swim. Let's gear up. Following my very disgruntled looking sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm busy snorkeling. Please. We just swam along the coastline so there's no danger of getting lost. Although it was wavy and the cave is just around the bend. So we made it to the cave but it's very wavy. Okay, so Tim and Wayne managed to get up from there but um, my back is a bit big and I'm not sure. So I'm going to wait for the kayakers to come out and I'm go up where they did. It's actually easier to walk up, providing no kayak is running at you, of course. So we have made it up! Yay! Okay, so we walked up from here, but there's also a lot of kayakers who would dock here. So we have to wait for them to go first, and that's the little batch. So where Uncle's sitting, this is the nose of the elephant. And then Wingen Tiff has gone up this way, so that's that box. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna fly my drone now, get ready. The structure of the cave makes it look like an elephant nose is running out and the water is pretty clear and we spend some time here taking photos. We are now ready to go. So it turns out that little stride is totally possible because it's quite shallow. So let's get this party started. We swam out from the narrow stride but it is very wavy when we enter the open sea with lots of rocks that are higher, so wear long pants if you can. Swimming back was nice because it's so hot otherwise, and we climbed out on the rocky beach next to the main beach, and made our way on the walkway towards the pier. So it is currently at 4.30ish, so we're gonna see if we can go to the heart shade pool again, because it's not very far, and uh, we also see the masses of crowd all getting to boat back to the town center. So perhaps it was nice to have a beach on the because it's so crowded. Weekend afternoon is always busy here. Last time we swam from the pier, but this time it's too crowded. So we went out from the fence and it was actually quite easy to go down. When we went to the heart shape pool at the beginning, we thought this was super hot, but it's not. So totally doable. We're just putting on some sunscreen before we go again. So after the Hashi Poo again. Wing decided to walk this path, but the rest of us swam because it looked very rocky. But we end up arriving to this part of the rocky beach at the same time, and climb to the pool was quite manageable. We 
we have made it back to the house shape pool, except now it's low tide, so the water level is Frank yeah, say this is currently the pond. Oh well, it's nice to be here. And there's also a hole of people swimming through, I'll show you. The low tide means that the water is very, very low and people were trying to swim for the hole. So we just kind of admired the place, took some photos and left. Okay, so we are now ready to go back by swimming and then getting up on the beach and then walking. And hopefully the queue at the pier is less so. So then we can go home. We decided to swim all the way back to the beach by the pier and taking off with quite some finesse because of all the shellfish that grows on there and of course, the waves. Once back on the beach, we quickly ran to catch our ferry and head on back to Cyclone Town Center. Thank you.